Hey there, TRW crew, Matt Vassallo here with TheRhinestoneWorld.com. In this quick tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to save your material. I have my black Caesar Easy Weed heat transfer vinyl here on a, on a roll. I have a five yard roll here. I'm going to cut out and we want to cut multiple items to be able to do a bulk order of these shirts more. But a lot of people will call us and email us all the time and say that my feeders or the rollers are slipping or pushing the material off to the side where in fact on something like the graph tech here it's not the rollers at all that's a user error so i'm going to show you a quick little tip on how to fix that so you aren't wasting material all right so we're over here on our graph tech ce 6060 vinyl cutter and it's asking me to load media so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to grab my caesar easy weed heat transfer vinyl from the back here and i'm just going to feed this through now we're going to see our blue lines right here and that's where we have to have our pinch rollers okay so we want to make sure but we also have this sensor at the front right here now the sensor needs to be covered in order for it to know that there's material in there so let's go ahead and get this loaded up quick i got my pinch roller on this left edge here i have my big area there now with this material what i like to do is i'm going to look at these lines right here okay and I want the material to go directly down one of these lines. Once I feel like that's pretty good, I'm going to go ahead and lock it down from the back. Now you'll see it says one for front edge, two for current position, three for sheet. We have a continuous roll here, so we're going to hit one for front edge. It's going to read our material. It's reading the width of the material right now, bringing it to the front. As soon as it gets past that sensor, it knows that's the end of it and we're ready to cut. Now, let's say I'm going to cut three feet, four feet, five feet worth of this material, okay? Here's what's going to happen, and here's what I want you to do ahead of time so you're not going to waste all of that material. If you just hit the down arrow and the fast button, I'm going to hit down and then fast, it's going to feed this material out. Now, what I want you to do is feed out about three feet worth of material like I did right there. And I can see my pinch rollers still look pretty good. So I actually fed this material on pretty straight right there. And then once you're ready to cut, just go ahead and feed it back. And now what you basically did is you did a quick little check to make sure that your material is on straight. So I'm going to hit origin to reset my origin and I'm good to go. Okay, here's what happens a lot. You might feed the material in a little bit crooked there, not perfectly straight. That's why I said a user error. I'm going to hit one for front edge. It's going to come across here and know that this front edge is good, okay, because it's not going to make a mistake in that half an inch right there. But now, when I feed this material out, watch what's going to happen. I'm going to hit fast, and this left edge right here is already off. So if you look at this left edge, it's already passed, okay? So people will call and say, my material is slipping. It has nothing to do with your material slipping. Technically it is, but it's because you didn't feed it in perfectly straight. And when you cut that larger graphic, eventually it's gonna be off the pinch roller and then it's going to do this and that's gonna ruin your entire job. All right, so that's it. So hopefully this little tip I showed you here today will save you a boatload of material over the course of the year. And think about it, every time you cut three, four feet at a time and it slips off and gets a little bit off, it's gonna ruin four feet worth of material. Times that by what you pay for these different materials, over the course of the year, that can be thousands of dollars of waste. So basically just with one little tip, can pay for your new vinyl cutter right here so thanks for watching guys check out the youtube channel right here make sure to subscribe check out the website the rhinestoneworld.com for all different types of tutorials and tips just like this one thanks for watching and we'll see you soon later